guys what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is austin becca the house are bright i'm super excited to be on your screens today if you're not subscribed to my channel please go on ahead and hit the subscribe button and yes i'm here today with some juicy gist okay now around this kind of time they started to the hide chicken for inside big girls that they hide stew that they carry some enter hoh lounge you know a lot of things happened on today's episode so in no particular order i'm just going to run you guys through all of it okay <music> guys part of the highlight for me on the 29th day in biggie's house was you know after they had their diary sessions and all of that and it was time for them to go play the head of house challenge that was the day biggie decided that he needed to spice up things a bit he gave room for the head of house and deputy to choose two guests that can come into the hoh lounge to visit them but under the condition that they do not get to sleep in the hoh lounge so they can stay there from whatever time to like 12 minutes so before 12 minutes go knock you carry your two left leg enter normal house because you know be head of if you visit okay if you visit you leave so that day kid wire actually won head of house for the second time okay and of course because erica had just left the head of house lounge she was not allowed to participate neither could she be chosen as deputy and you guys if you remember that particular day after kid wire won the head of house him and erica they had the talk even if they don't talk with mouths they use eye talk because kid wire and erica they just they look themselves they look tall and bad before kid wire even to tall and bad as in deputy i don't already know a lot of us knew already so when he now said tall and bad you're like oh not a surprise anymore because we catch him and one and they give a safe eye contact no mm. ah because you guys remember around that time erica and tall and bad were best of friends i don't know how far the friendship now are they still close mona tell me for comment because I not reach that side. Anyways, after the head of house had picked his deputy and all of that, Big Brother called Kid Wire into the diary room and he told Kid Wire, Kid, I'm going on a mini vacation. You guys remember, Biggie told Kid Wire that he was going on a vacation and that he wouldn't be making any announcements in the house. He also wanted that to be a little secret between Kid Wire and himself. And Biggie also promised that if Kid Wire could manage the house diligently without telling anybody about his vacation, without telling anybody that he was not around, he was going to give Kid Wire a gift, you know, for keeping his little secret. And Kid Wire was so excited that day, you guys. Big Brother even told him that going forward, he was going to ring the phone. You know, once he hears the phone ringing, he needs to come into the diary room to get the message because, of course, he will not be there to call. But he should make sure to remember that Big Brother is always watching okay that line i know they forget them i know if you forget them um i'm moving on from that yeah now so we see where praise the power say how far this sounds like they eye chicken why chicken is for everybody this is big brother so some of the curry chicken come from yes some of them say that they day like that not maybe they, they chop chicken like me now i never remember when last one i said chop chicken so they call the high chicken the high chicken they catch chicken they put in freezer if they cook stew with plenty chicken sometimes chicken not go reach some people praise was so upset about the whole thing like guys what is the meaning of this you can be hiding some certain things though but what should i say you the high chicken now your own now your bag gets them now you carry your money by them what they go the high chicken that's invest praise they praise just invest and he was actually having this conversation with kid wire and prince you know and they were just like yeah it's not nice it's not this one this one next thing again like few minutes later we see where praise and what on the day garden you know praise they vex again we say ah who should and be all this one why you they vex again now you say ah uh ah -uh, and they follow person talking about something just now 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 that same thing and they talk now 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 you enjoy they do now 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 as i was saying yeah kid wire came out and was like guy what is the issue praise was like guy i just talked to you about people hoarding food and hoarding chicken and i just overheard you discussing the fact that you want to go and keep some stew in the head of house lounge for waiting now head of house lounge then be general house why you go do that thing why you go do that kind of thing anyway i don't talk about it because you know i'm pissed just allow me handle my anger allow me handle it and kid wire was like did you see me take the stew? Did you see me take the stew? He said, and you not take the but I did hear when you and your person they talk. I don't know whether I told any badge now. I've been a Erica because I'm not seeing one of those two people in a full. I think it was told any badge. Guys, correct me in the comment section, I beg. But I know that that conversation held and praise overheard it, and that's what got him pissed. And of course, Kid Wire could not really say much. All he did was he just walked away, you know. So, yeah, they the eye chicken. Ha, now. Uh. Anyways, moving on to day 13. Now, there we know, say, power has changed hands okay power 
the enter person head. Now I told any bad come pal and say, hey, tricky tea, come. What's the meaning of this? What did you what, what did you sweep? What was this bottle doing here? She carried tricky tea from Palo, enter room. They show up say, what was that thing doing on the floor? What was that bottle doing on the floor? Pick it up. Put it here. I say, uh uh, power sweet oh. I swear that thing just reminded me of back then in secondary school where my seniors would be like, better pick this, pick that. They won't punish me with that too. Oh. I pick, pick, pick. So they be like, I pick person destiny. Which character are they pick? Are they pick? So they, oh my hand, go they pepper me. Some of those my seniors say, now God go judge them. Go, hey, God go judge us. I won't punish my own juniors like that for secondary school. In fact, my juniors they like me. But all those things, you know say they they punish me. They tell me say pick, pick, pick. Now tell any bag they resemble pick, 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 pick. I don't pick. I'm a picker. Anyways, moving on. Now still on this same day, thirty. Now our Ozo brother Ozo do that romantic gesture, that romantic move when shaking Tanya, when, when when shake all of us. He go do breakfast in bed for Madam Nengi. You know, he give her toast bread and hot chocolate. Now the babes sit down on top bed, they, they, they enjoy. Guys, I need my own breakfast in bed. I take off bed now. Now still the same day, 30. Now he knew upon the plan V birthday. You know, he still go meet Kid Wire. Then they discuss the thing. You know, big brother, I can't still take Kid Wire. I say, okay, fine, no. Go tell Neo, say, I don't agree. I will give him the flowers because he was requesting for flowers to surprise V on her birthday, you know. And Kid Wire had taken that information to Big Brother, and Big Brother was willing to provide the flowers for Neo under the condition that he had to give up all his BB Naira and a few of his personal items. And guys, guess what? Neo gave it all out with his full chest. Say, see. That flower they me important and you guys remember how romantic that day was like V was seated on the dining area I still remember it vividly because they did not show it to us tonight oh, but I remember her V was seated, you know, they had brought the cake, everybody had taken turns to say nice things about her And then Neil was just at the back and then he now, you know, gave her the flowers and nailed her Guys, it was so romantic, like even she herself, she just kept on saying oh, Like he made her feel so special Love is sweet Okay, better hang out for the hang it, hang it there. Also, there was a conversation between Tolani Badge and Lekon where Tolani Badge was asking Lekon if he was really into Watoni because both of them were getting really close or if he was just trying to use Watoni as a rebound. And Lekon was like, no, 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 I'm just catching Cruzo. It would be very disrespectful to use anybody as a rebound. I know she has this whole reservation about me and all of that, but I just like looking for her trouble. I'm just catching Cruzo, so it's not that serious, okay? Now it was time for them to have their air tell task guys i laugh so say water can you come up from my eye they say me they turn the airtel song into different types of music you know afro you know all those hip-hop all those things they say make each group form their own song based on the airtel jingle any way you do it eh? whatever you do for 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 you can do it number okay now me say the taste singer and but now that song they say me this house may taste sick their own now a kid wire group I don't know what they call you. You see, Kidwire, Erica, and Tricky T, they were more like clowns that day. It was so hilarious, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and insert a clip for you guys. If this is the only clip I insert in this video, it gave me okay because I laugh so they cry. Call it come off of my eye. I beg, can somebody explain to me what Kid Wire was doing there? Kid Wire was saying, Opa, Opa, for me <laughs> Anyways, guys, the winners of that particular tax included Nengi, T Badge, Lacorn, and V. And they won themselves the sum of 2 million naira, which was actually converted into items that were then given out to a charity organization of their choice. Okay? Now, to where there was a major bass boost on that same day 30. I said that day 30. It was a very significant day. You know, Kid Wire had actually finished reading out the brief about their Thursday wager task and everything. And they were just wasting time to come up with the idea. You know, Biggie has said that they were supposed to do a debate surrounding the topic men and women love 
love differently something in that line yeah and they were just arguing and arguing and arguing and at some point Kidua was like see you guys let's just do this thing and move on to the next step see whether people like it or not i'm still going to be here next week so if we lose the wager we lose it no yeah now so lose the spark what on his back say eh what kind of statement is that what do you mean by that okay for that reason this wager we go loser okay she will one lose wager more will lose her because you feel like you'll still be here next week so you can now joke with it and all of that i be let's lose the wager now so lucy waka come out what on follow praise went into the room trying to talk to them she's like no 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 why would he say something like that is it the first person to become head of house i've also been head of house i wouldn't say anything like that do, 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 do. Now, so for outside, Erica and Brighto were actually talking to Kidoya and you're like, look, you need to go and apologize because that came off as you being arrogant. Not just for the people in the house, but also for the general public because when they hear you say something like that, it's almost like, oh, now he's proud that be because you left him in the house. Guys, that argument not be small argument. Lucy even says, see, she's not going to participate in anything they're doing in the house. She's not going to cook. She's not going to sweep. If Biggie wants to give her a fine, she give her a fine because she's never going to be talking with her microphone. Now, dear Lucy, Best rich, I say, ah, oh, voila. Voila. Anyways, guys, before the end of today's episode, the housemates took turn to wish V a very happy birthday. She felt very special. I'm hoping that they will show us that very romantic moment I told you guys about when Neil gave her flowers and all of that good stuff. Okay? If they're not sure, that's a go pay me. But you know, the good thing about it is that I remember it tonight because you know, once is love, you know, you'll find me there because what? I love love, okay? Anyways, guys, that's all the gist I have for you in this particular episode. If you enjoyed watching it, please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel channel if you haven't subscribed and i will definitely see you guys on the next one bye guys